and I, I would end with this. The, to see the, the, the generational shift, I see it in two ways, how we define freedom and how we define power. My generation, World War II and the baby boomers after us, all the way back, we, be, we always believed that freedom is the ability to be an autonomous agent to be self-sufficient, not be beholden on others. That's why we accumulate wealth, so that we can be our own sovereign. You know, and it, that was a way to fight off the monarchy, so that we weren't dependent on, right? For a young person in a digital generation, they see freedom not as exclusivity and autonomy. For them, freedom is inclusivity in relationships. For them, autonomy is death. For them, freedom is the ability to be included in access to more and more networks where they can share their talents with each other. It's a totally different idea about freedom. And power. My generation absolutely believes power is pyramidal. End of story. There's no such thing as power unless it's a pyramid. Apparently, the younger generation doesn't believe that because they believe power is lateral. By, in, by being engaged in a distributed, collaborative, transparent setting, they actually increase the power by sharing it in a peer-to-peer -peer production network. They have a completely different, when a, when a young person looks at power and they judge a government or a political party or a school system or a business, they ask, is the institutional behavior centralized, patriarchal, top-down, proprietary, and closed? Or is the institutional behavior distributed, collaborative, open, transparent, and laterally scaled? So we're really beginning to see different definitions culturally of how we, what we believe a human being's role is in relationship to our fellow human being in the planet we live in. This is good news. I'm glad the young people are doing it.